And a body of a man who was wrongfully buried in Nyamache area, Kisi County, has been exhumed and rituals performed in the homestead to allow a family member who the deceased was mistaken for to return home. Now, the family of Meshak Ondabu, who was arrested in Nairobi's South B area for flouting uh, traffic rules, buried a man after missing their kin who was at industrial area prison for 40 days. And after his release, the man was barred from visiting his rural home to see his supposed grave until all the Abagusi rituals were performed. As Emily Chebet reports, the body of the unknown man who had been buried for two months in the homestead has been brought back to Nairobi's city mortuary. Nyabotere village in Nyamache, Kisi County, was a beehive of activities as early as 4 a.m. Friday. The area chief and police officers supervised the exhumation of the unknown body that has been in this grave for the last two months. The family of Meshak Ondabwe Boda Boda operator in Nairobi picked a body and buried it, only for their son to resurface. Meshak was serving a 40-day sentence at the Nairobi Industrial Area Prison. After the initial shock and confusion on Meshak's appearance were off, the family had no choice but to seek court orders to exhume the body of the stranger they had mistakenly buried in their compound. Traditional rituals were performed by a Bagusi elder to cleanse the homestead before the return of their son. According to the community's tradition, Meshak must never step in the homestead before the body is removed and the grave sealed. This ship was slaughtered to enable the family member return to his home. The ship's intestines were buried in the empty grave. After that, the police took the body using a body bag and the coffin was burned. <laughs> According to the elders, Meshak is now ready to go back home, but he will have to start life afresh. Slaughtering will be done to celebrate his return. <laughs> The body that was buried has been brought back to Nairobi city mortuary. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.